Hello, it's Morgan Labs, and today we're trying to figure out a time constant for, I'll say, the non-trivial RC circuit, right? A lot of times you see a circuit, and it's not just the basic R and C. You'll have an extra R in there, okay? So, spoiler alert, the trick, if you want to call it that, use V feminine. Thevenin R Thevenin equivalent circuits. That's the key. Okay. And your tau is just your R Thevenin times the C. Okay. And then you find your five tau, your 99 point whatever percent uh, to charge your capacitor. Okay. So let's find are V Thevenin and R Thevenin. So to do that, we have a voltage source. Then we have this R1. And then we have R2. And then we want this voltage like people say like this voltage AB right that would be our V Thevenin that's just voltage across R2 which is via Ohm's law, the current V is your current times your R2. Okay? But your current, if you do a voltage loop like this, you'll see that R1 and R2 are in series okay so what does that tell us that tells us that I okay so your so your voltage source equals I R1 plus I R2 Let's do the loop, right? Cook our voltage KVL. Mm -mm, they want to do that. KVL, right? Plus VS minus I, R1 minus, and you just do all the algebra. Let's do that. R1 plus R2. And so I is VS over. R1 plus R2. Ooh, I didn't want to do that either. Alright, okay, my little thing over here. R2. That equals I. So you plug that in over here. So your V Thevenin, which is VR2, which is VAB, all that stuff. V Thevenin is your voltage source over R1 plus R2 times R2. So that's your V7. Okay. Let's do, 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 do. That's your V7 right there. V7. Okay. Now let's do the R7 and get our time constant. Okay, time constant. So we start over here. So here, our Thevenin short the source. And then, this is just my own little personal, what I do, short the source 
and then uh, use uh, V Thevenin circuit. So what I mean by use V Thevenin circuit, you kind of look at it backwards. I'll show you. I just put this in dot dotted lines, right? You had the VS right there. Then you had your R1 and then your R2 like that. And then your V Thevenin. You kind of act like that's the source, right? And then you do your little voltage loop, right? And it'll go, it's like go here and then I like to do this split it off and you have one current flowing that way then you have another current branching off that way and then they kind of come together and you come back out see that so that just means they're in parallel, okay? If you look at it, it is the v Thevenin kind of circuit. R1 and R2 are being parallel when you look at it that way. So that's how you figure out your R Thevenin. So go back. So R1, R2, parallel. So you go 1 over... It's one over the sum of the one overs. That's the way I do it. I was just going to do it another way. But that's just the way I do it. It's just, I'm not going to. Okay. Do it that other way. So one over the sum of the one overs. So one over the sum of the one overs. Okay. And that's one over R. 2 plus R1 over R1, R2, and then 1 over the sum of the 1 overs is R1, R2 over R, I'll just re reorder, R1 plus R2, okay? And so that is our R Thevenin. There you go. That's R Thevenin. There you go. Okay. Just have to know the steps. That's your R7. So the time constant is what? RC. So here we go. Time constant. Let me see if I have the right color here. Nope. Okay. Time constant. Time constant is tau is R. C is R Thevenin C. Okay. So our time constant would be whatever the R Thevenin. Wait, let me do back up. I'll say R Thevenin is. What did we say? We said R R1 R2 over R1 plus R2. R2, D2, R1, R2, R1 plus R2, times your C. You're getting ahead of myself. That's that. And so our time constant is R1, R2 over R1 plus R2 times your C. That's your time constant. Okay. Now. Let's plug in. Wait. We're not, we're not done. Almost there. And then. 5 tau. Would be. 5. R1, R2 over R1 plus R2 times C. And that's the time it takes to charge your capacitor in this circuit. 
And now we just have to plug in numbers for our circuit here. Okay. So you're done. So you can turn off the video. You're done for now. But if you want to keep going, let's keep going and plug in some numbers and then use every circuit to kind of figure out and kind of test what we've figured out, right? Okay, here we are. So let's, let's do this. Let's go one volt is our source. And we have four ohms for our one. We have one ohm for our two. And then our capacitor, I'm going to say 20 millifarads. It's usually microfarads, right? But for the simulation, I don't want to make it too fast. So it's millifarads. Okay. So our RC for this case would be what? R. Thevenin C. We already figured it out, right? We said R1. Let me go over here and look. R1, R2. Okay. R1. R2. R1. Plus R2. Times 20. And milli is times 10 to the minus 3. Right, micro is 10 to the minus 6. Okay, there you go. That's tau. And then 5 tau would be 5 times, this is 4 over 5 times 20 times 10 to the minus 3. Okay, I'm seeing some stuff. Simplify, right? And then 4 times 20 is 80. So you'd be like 80. No calculator, right? 80 times 10 to the minus 3 seconds. And that would be 1, 2, 3, point zero eight seconds. Or a tenth of a second, right? If you round it up. That's how long it should take to charge this capacitor in this, I'll say, non-trivial uh, case. Now, last part of it, let's go to every circuit and see if every circuit gives us the same number. Okay, let me do this first. Let me finish up just the towel, right? The towel would be. 4 over 5, that would be uh, 20 over 5 is 4, that would be 16 times 10 to the minus 3 seconds. It's a time constant, right? Is that right? 4, 5, 20 over 5 is 4, 4 times 4 is 16, 16 times 10, okay, yeah. And that's your answer. Let's go to every circuit and see if we get like a tenth of a second. Wait a minute, we gotta figure out, okay, what, what's still gonna be like the voltage? The voltage in the end would just be our steady state voltage, okay? So V final is your like your steady state. That's your voltage across there, which would be, okay, um, it would be, we say four, five, so that's one of, I'm just doing a lot of, okay, it's 1 V over 5. That'll be your current. Okay, I'm just doing this on the fly. Okay, so the current, like that, that's 5. 1 over 5. That's amps. Okay, so you have. 1 over 5, 1 over 5, so your voltage right here would be 1 over 5, so it would be, okay, 1 fifth is what, 2 tenths, 
multiply 2 over 2, 2 tenths, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 volts. Okay, so that's your, just use Ohm's Law and KVL for the steady state, right? Steady state, this goes to zero. And you just kind of just solve for this little, this little circuit right there. Okay? That's all I did. So it should be 0.2. Now let's go to every circuit. 0.2 volts. Okay? So we got to time it. Because every circuit doesn't have like a little stopwatch. So we'll just, I'm just going to time it. With an external watch, you can't see it. Okay, so let's do this. All right, so we got point. Our target is 0.08 seconds or a tenth of a second. Let's go over here. Cut that out. All right, so go here. Okay. Now, here's our circuit. We set everything up. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it on. Okay. And then, you just ignore that. That's just noise. Okay, now, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000. Okay, about 10. 10 seconds. Okay. It took us about 10 seconds to get 0.2 volts. Okay. That's about 10 seconds. So... Our simulation speed is 10 milliseconds. Okay. So it was, it was like maybe 9, 10, but I'm just kind of just uh, eyeballing it. So that's 10 milliseconds, right? 10 times 10 milliseconds. Clear. Wait, wait, clear button. I'm looking at it sideways. Clear. And you say it was like, we'll say 9, right? 9.5 seconds times 10 milliseconds equals enter. Wait, what did I do? I'm looking at it sideways. 10 times e to the O. I got to use the ne that negative, not the minus. Eh. So 0 0.095. See? So our Every circuit is kind of accurate. You should never just use your um, your calculation tools, your P spice or whatever it is, or even if you're in doing mechanical stuff and you're using ANSYS and you're looking at all the plots in the finite element. You have to do these kind of little things to make sure the program isn't lying to you, right? So every circuit, as far as this goes, it uh, it gave us what we needed. Okay?